Hey, what's up, Pokey fans and Pokey Masters out there? Today, Sarge is going to show you the fastest way I've found to farm sync orbs. Okay, so if you guys have been playing, you know about the new sync orbs now. So I'm just going to go over it really quickly. Uh, I'm going to put a timestamp in the description to let you know where to skip ahead to, so that way you can actually see where the strap begins. As I just kind of go over a few things right now. But again, I'm going to put a timestamp in the description to let you know where you can skip ahead so you can actually see the strategy. But right now, really quick, what sync, what sync training is, what there are the sync orbs, what's the sync grid? So the sync grid is a way to be able to customize our sync pairs. Originally, I thought you can only do Pikachu, Torkoal, and Infernape, but that's not true. Those are just the only ones with expanded sync grids, okay? And what that means is when you go to them, they have more options unlocked okay so here's your sync grid and each one of these except for these middle six so these middle six right here okay these don't cost any energy so energy count is zero but everything else has an energy count as you see two two these locked ones six there goes five okay so those come out of your remaining energy on the top left up there where it says remaining energy under your sync pair so Sync grid training is just exactly that. You're earning orbs so that way you can unlock these extra um, parts to the grid, making your Pokemon a little more unique than the next person and making them stronger. Okay. Now you have two types of sync orbs. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you have these orangey ones. Okay. And then you have the blue ones. Now the blue ones will always have a sync pair above them. That's because they are specific to that pair. There's two ways of getting the blue ones. Okay. First way is converting orange ones into blue. Orange orbs you get from co-op battles whenever you had the opportunity to earn sync orbs. Okay, and then you actually performed your sync move during co-op, you have a chance of earning 25 of the orange orbs. Every 10 gives you one blue orb. Okay, so essentially what you want to do is you want to earn it twice. You want to earn a total of 50 because every 50 will give you one full set of blue orbs. And what I mean by one full set is you need five to unlock I think other ones may need more. Yeah, see, those need more. But these bottom ones right here need five. So, but it looks like it's all, nope, that's 84 there, 60, 180. Okay, so it's gonna get it's gonna get expensive. Okay. But you're gonna need a ton of these. Now you have to be careful. These orange ones that you earn in co-op can be used for any sync pair. But the moment you convert them over to a blue one, that's it. It's locked to that particular sync pair. You can't use it anywhere else. Now, the other way to earn blue sync orbs is through single player matches. Okay. In single player matches, whichever one of your sync pairs is the first one. Okay. The first one to actually perform a sync move is the one that will earn the sync orb specifically for that sync pair. So you go in with three pairs, okay? But say you're in there with Mewtwo and you have it on auto battle and out of nowhere, your Torchic is the one that actually performs the sync move. Torchic is the one that's going to get the sync orbs, not your Mewtwo, okay? So you have to make sure that if you're auto battling that you go in there and you you know shut it off real quick before the sync move happens so that way you can get the right one that you want otherwise the uh the other pokemon pair the other sync pair that gets it or performs the move will get it that's just the way it works so now for the strat how do we farm these out what's the fastest way well clearly Single player offline, I mean, it is what it is. You just pick a battle and you kind of just mash right through it. And that's so you can specifically train one Pokemon that you're looking to train. Okay, so you go into any one of these. Now, I've noticed that it only wants to pay out during like very hard events. So if I go into training and say I do my super courses, it really only wants to pay out during very hard. So I'm going to show you guys really quick what that one is so we're going to go right into this very hard let's go ahead and uh, edit our teams we want 
Oh, all up preset teams. And we're gonna go to super course. Bam, now we're gonna edit it. Okay, and let's go ahead and uh, we'll have Mewtwo. And oh, I have my filter set to five stars. That's why. There we go. Yeah. Pincer. Okay. So we're just going to go in here and we're going to see if we have a sync pair chance. Now, the way you know you have a sync pair chance is once it gets to the next screen right here. Okay. Sync orb chance it lets you know that there's a blue orb chance. So we're just going to go through here. We're going to kind of try to crush this out as fast as we can. Okay. And let's just start attacking. Mewtwo, okay. We're gonna earn this one for Mewtwo, cause so we're gonna have him sync first. Mewtwo goes in, bam. There we go. Attack in. There it goes. See the little blue orb popped up above Mewtwo's head. So that lets us know that Mewtwo is the one who's gonna earn that sync orb. Yep. And crush. And let's crush that one more time. Okay. Bam. So we're done. So quick and easy. And then up top at your rewards, it shows you. And then when you get to the next screen, it shows you again. So sync orbs, bam, shows you right at the bottom. So Mewtwo specifically earned five sync orbs. Now, as you see, it has his logo right above on the top, which means these are only good for Mewtwo. Can't use them for anyone else, only for Mewtwo. So again, single player, it, I've noticed that it only seems to pop up on the very hard ones. I've, I've seen the other ones. I haven't, I haven't seen it pop up on hard or normal only on very hard uh, and it's not a guarantee like we'll go to this next super course and we'll go here and let's uh let's change this so what do we need we need dark and flying okay so we're going to change this flying change this to dark okay now we're going to go back into it let's see let's see if it's an automatic on very hard it's okay so, nope, see, no sync orb. So we just earned one. So it's a random chance. There's no guarantee that you're going to get your sync orb whenever you do this. So it's just kind of hit or miss. Um, it's just a chance. So if you don't get it, then just kind of run through the, uh, the mission as fast as you can. So that way you're not stuck wasting too much time. And we'll just kind of fly right through this. There we go. And we'll get rid of them. Okay, bam. So as you see, it's a random look of the draw, but that's the easiest way to know. Now, you guys came for the fast stretch. You want to know what's the fastest way without having to specify which particular Pokemon you're trying to earn Four, okay, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go to co-op right now The best event is currently the Sogalio event uh, for a couple reasons One there's a lot of people playing it Two, the rewards are great So we still got a ton of these rewards that are unlimited. Look at these buff blends. These are all unlimited Okay, gym leader nodes all unlimited. So there's no limit to how much you can actually farm these out So this is where you guys want to be right now. You want to be farming all this stuff out well, we still have three more days left on this, but we're going to go into Sogalio, okay? Quick connect. Now, the biggest part to online is if you see that your particular online battle does not have a sync chance, you actually want to exit your app, not close it completely. You just want to get out of it, open up another app like your browser, something that connects to the internet, open up another app, and then double right back into it. You want to lose that connection so that way you don't have to wait on other people to make their moves. Essentially, the um, the NPCs will take over and then it'll just be much faster. You can get out of it a lot faster. So let's hit go and let's see if we have a chance or if we end up connecting um, with no chance. And then we're just going to quickly disconnect and reconnect. Okay, so here we go. Next screen's coming up.
Okay, no chance. See, so there's no chance in here. So what we want to do is we want to exit out of here. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and let's open up YouTube really quick. Look at that. I like to watch r slash. So we're just going to click on this video and then shut this video off. Okay, go back and let's go back into the app. Okay, due to instability, connection was lost. Do we want to continue? Yes, we want to continue. And we're just going to fly through this now without any NPC, uh, with the NPCs and without having to wait on other people. And we just want to get through this as fast as we can because we don't want to exit it. I mean, it's still worth something. It's, I mean, if you want to exit it, go ahead and exit it and retry and you don't have to waste your time doing the battle. But for me, I firmly believe that it's still worth doing the battle because of the rewards we currently get for Sogalio and being able to farm out all those buff blends. So I believe in just grinding right through it. Get through it as fast as you can because, again, the NPCs take over for the other guys and we can just go ahead and do what we need to do. And as you see, I'm just rushing to get to my sync pair as fast as possible because as soon as I can do my sync move, then I get the Mega Guard Chomp, which puts in a lot of work. And while we're here at this particular screen, when you're syncing and doing the Unity, the first person to come out of it to hit the move becomes the next person in first place. So you kind of want to start tapping on the screen as the move is happening, so that way you can be the first one to put in a move, which allows you to go first. And then increases your chances of being the first one to sink. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be the first one to sink. Okay? As long as you sink during the battle, then you have an opportunity of getting a sink orb. But during an event like Sogalio, there's a lot of people playing. And you risk the opportunity of Sogalio fainting on you. And that's what you don't want. Because if he faints before you can pull off your sink move... That's it. That's your lost opportunity. And there's not a guarantee that the next time you go into the event that you're actually going to get it. So you want to make sure you're very, very keen on doing this quickly, getting to it and trying to be, you know, first, if not first, at least second, hoping that you guys don't take them out before you actually get there. And there it goes. Mega Guard Chomp's going to come in and clean them up. And bam, we're done. Okay. So again, this one had no chance of uh giving us an orb so we disconnected came back in and we were able to avoid having to wait for the other online players to make their moves so let's go ahead and battle again let's see if we get lucky right now i believe i've been like one for three like every three matches i usually get a, a sync orb cha chance is uh it's kind of my averages right now See, it's always good, too, whenever you get somebody who's not in a guard chomp, like if you get one or two players that aren't in a guard chomp, because then you don't actually rip through Sogalio too, too fast. Sync orb chance. Okay, so now we just want to mash. We just want to mash. We want to get through this as fast as we can. Okay, we want to be first to sync. Okay, so I use attack, and then I go to the stomping tantrum, which increases my speed. For the hit and run, it has a chance of increasing my speed with hit and run. Okay. Ooh, I got burned. Okay, whatever. We'll survive that. Not a big deal. Okay. There goes that hit and run. Bam. That that plus speed helps fill up your, uh, your energy bar, your move bar, a lot faster, which is great. Because once you sync move, and then it gives you enough energy to keep, you know, putting, in, putting on the hurt so you can finish it. Because you also don't want to lose it. Because if you lose it, then you don't get your sync orb either. So you don't want to lose the match. And as you see, I'm the only one who's putting in work because these bozos switched to uh, Mudsdale. But that's okay. Hopefully, there we go. I got that. Okay, let me get my sink in. Bam, sink, 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 sink. There we go. Got my sink move in before I fainted. Bam, there goes my sink move. Okay, got it. Great. And we're going to go ahead and mash that Earthquake. Get that Earthquake in before I get hit. Boom, put in that work. Okay. So I didn't notice if I got the uh, the Sync Orb or not. But we'll see. Okay, so we're going to try to help these guys out. And we're going to energize them. Give them all power to make moves. And increase some attacks here. 
So actually, that's a first. That's a first in a very long time that I've had my uh, my Garchomp faint. Oh, I'm really hoping that these Bozos came oh, better prepared, but it looks like they did not come better prepared. So uh, we might run into some problems here. Okay. Da, 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 da. Let's try to just finish these guys up. Okay. So I'm saving my Mudsdale for last because even though Mudsdale packs a punch, he will uh, doesn't take too good of a hit. Okay, so this guy's got a Mewtwo. I mean, Mewtwo is not the solution to every battle. People have to be uh, have to be careful with that one. Here, we'll switch to effectiveness. There we go. Two times effective. That's good. Okay, so somebody was holding back a Garchomp. Somebody was holding back a Garchomp. Okay. So I'll stand strong. And let's hit that high horsepower. Get that stand strong out. There we go. And hit that high horsepower. Get that, get that, get that. There we go. He's got a sync move. See? So that's good. He got lucky. This battle didn't end so quickly. A lot of times it's three Garchomps and pretty much the first one to sync is the one who gets it because we usually make him faint by then. Ooh, he got real lucky that I didn't finish him off on that one. Okay, so this should be End of Sogalio. Bam. And then he should have earned himself a Sync Orb on that one. Okay. So, yep, there was my Sync Orb. I did earn it. So, defeated Sogalio. Okay. And here we go. And there you go. So, you get that orange Sync Orb. That's worth 25. Okay. Now, remember, each 10 equals one Sync Orb. So, your goal is usually to get to 50 because 50 allows you to make five of them which is kind of like the easiest number to work with when it comes to uh, you know, farming them out and using them and things like that. But again, that's a strat, guys. Uh, so just to recap, single-player mode, bam, single-player mode gets you, gets you orbs specifically, gets you the blue orbs. So let me show you that really quick. Let's go back to Teams, Sync Grid. Okay, Mewtwo. See? And you can tell who has Sync Orbs because once you get to the screen, they have that Sync Grid picture on their face. So Mewtwo has it because he has some Sync Orbs specific to him. And what's nice about when you earn them specifically for one character, you earn five at a time. Okay? So if you are going to single player farm, you earn five at a time every time you can actually get this to show up. It's just I've only seen it show up on very hard. It doesn't show up all the time. Uh, I've seen it show up more often in co-op. I don't know if that's just them just trying to increase people playing the online meta, but it's just the way it is. But so here we go. So we can we can upgrade one of these things. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Let's upgrade speeds. Okay. So we have these orbs, and I can buy more if I want. So every ten. See, it will give me another five. So it'll give me a five stock, but I don't want to do that. Okay. So we're just going to increase Mewtwo speed. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to spend our five. Activate. Yep. Bam. So we've activated that. And now we've got three of the sync grids activated for Mewtwo. But those orange ones, those orange ones are the ones that you earn from co-op. So if I wanted to go in... And increase, let's go to Sogalio, because I think I need it. Yep, I needed to do his special attack. So I go to Sogalio. Okay, I've got 50. Use up all 50. That gives me exactly five of the blue. Remember, once I make this change, I can't go back. Five of the blue, bam, hit yes. Okay, great. And use it on Sogalio. Hit, there we go. Got it. And we're good, okay? So thank you guys for stopping by. I hope this video helped. Please like, subscribe, or comment below. Um, hoping to grow this channel. It's just a father-son channel, and we're looking to do more things. Good luck with all your uh, Pokemon RNG out there, and I'll catch you in the next video.